Good evening and welcome to the State Road 406 Maintenance Resurfacing Public Meeting. My name is Greg Pratica and I'm the Project Manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we'll explain plans to repave a segment of State Road 406 to maintain a safe and reliable driving surface. We encourage your feedback and there are many ways you can submit questions and comments. All written comments are part of the public meeting record and will be responded to in writing. I'll now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. The presentation is also available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450626-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone, at 386-943-5077 or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone, at 850-414-4742 or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This project is located in Titusville on Garden Street, also known as State Road 406. The project begins west of Interstate 95 near South Lake Elementary School and ends at 4L Avenue. The Financial Project Identification Number, or FPID, for this project is 450626-1. The Florida Department of Transportation is proposing this maintenance resurfacing project, which includes repaving all travel lanes within the project limits on Garden Street to extend the life of the roadway, converting existing unused on-street parking into buffered bike lanes, and evaluating and updating pedestrian curb ramps as needed to meet Americans with Disability Act ADA standards. Currently, Garden Street is a four-lane divided highway with two travel lanes of varying widths in each direction. There is sporadic on-street parking in multiple locations along the corridor. These on-street parking spaces are generally not used because many are adjacent to large parking lots. This provides an opportunity to convert this on-street parking into buffered bicycle lanes, enhancing safety throughout the corridor. For a better idea of what proposed improvements might look like, this cross section, also called a typical section, shows a section of the corridor with the existing intermittent eight and a half foot wide shoulder that is used in places for on-street parking. The proposed improvements would include restriping the newly paved surface of the roadway and converting the wide shoulders with on-street parking into seven-foot wide buffered bicycle lanes on both sides of Garden Street within the project limits. 
This improvement will provide continuity along Garden Street by connecting the proposed buffered bicycle lane within the project limits to the existing buffered bicycle lane east of the project limits. This would increase connectivity and enhance safety for all users. The project will also evaluate and update pedestrian curb ramps along the corridor as needed. The design of this project is ongoing and anticipated to be complete in fall 2025 at an estimated cost of $781,000. The improvements on this project will be within the existing right-of-way. Construction for this project is funded for spring 2026 with an estimated cost of $4.5 million. A separate FDOT resurfacing project, FPID number 450771-1 on I-95 from State Road 50 to State Road 46, is planning improvements to the I-95 at the Garden Street Interchange. The proposed improvements include resurfacing the interchange ramps, including a slight widening to the northbound off-ramp, which will alleviate congestion during peak hours. Construction for the project will begin in fall 2025. For more information on this project, scan the QR code on the screen or go to www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450771-1 to access the project webpage. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by September 3, 2024, 12 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager Gregory Pratica directly by email at gregory.pratica at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call Mr. Pratica at 386 943-5394 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 4506261 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by September 3, 2024. Have a good evening.